Hey guys and girls, it's Micah here today and we are talking about automation on the push. How to record automation, how to use new automation over it and what step sequencing automation is. So let's browse and find an instrument. I've done that so I'm going to go to my device and I'm in normal note mode. I'll record a little clip that we can automate. It's a very inspired one, as you can hear. I want to spice it up and add some reverb so that as the melody rises it gets more space. So I'm in device view and I want to add an effect, so I push add effect. Like browsing for an instrument, you toggle down to the effect you want and I choose reverb and the cathedral preset and load it with a green button. Now things sound very different. If I go back to device, I can see that I now have an instrument as well as the effect. And I want to go into my effect, so I'm going to use this selector button that looks a bit like an old enter key and go inside the effect. I now have all these different options, so I can go in and see all my effect parameters. I can tweak them from the push and you can see the changes reflect in real time on the screen capture. So I'm going to change this high shell frequency. Let's record. Push automation so that it lights up. Then record. The clip is playing and I can just move the encoder to overdub record the automation. Push record again when you're done recording. The automated parameter will have a rectangular box next to it to indicate that it's an automated parameter. You can also play over the automation, without recording, to change the values or set the parameter to a new value. When you do this, the value on the push display will be put in square parentheses to indicate that the playback automation is different to the recorded automation. If you want the previously recorded automation to resume playback, push shift and the automation button. You can also record over your recorded automation. Make sure automation is on and lit up red, then push record and change the encoders to how you'd like them. Let's talk about step sequencer automation. So if I go into my step sequencer by pushing notes and I make a new short clip here, I can change the automation of every single step in the sequence. This is step sequence automation. To do this, push the step you want to automate, Hold that pad down and select Automat in the push display. The word is kind of cut off due to lack of space. Now you can change the high shell frequency for each step. I want to change the value so with each step the high shell frequency gets higher in little increments. You can do this with any parameter, it doesn't have to be the high shell frequency on your reverb, this is just my example. During playback, you can also see the automation values change with each new note in the step sequencer. You can apply the same thing to your drums, customize every step, and you can always record over your automation again, or just change the value. You can also record nothing over it to clear or reset the value. To revisit your recorded automation after you've changed the value, simply push shift and automation again. So tomorrow in day 11, I'm going to be telling you how to mix with and from your push so that you don't need to be glued to your computer screen because that is so last decade. So me and my crew shall see you there.